What's up with my YouTubers? I'm not gonna lie, y'all might wanna watch this video like all the way through. I'm not gonna even make it long for you because it's quick and easy solar power. You see it's about 90 degrees out here today, sun beaming high, and this is the scenario. You got your RV, and even in the neighborhood, you don't wanna use nobody else's outlets, you don't wanna use nobody's house, you just pretty much don't want to ask nobody for nothing. So let me tell you my quick and easy solar panel setup. So we have one, two, three, four, twenty-five watt solar panels, which is a hundred watts. They all connect to each other in the back to a, a connector that goes into one. I made that one, you know, run through the engine cab. But uh, I got a doghouse that's in my um, RV, so it gave me a little bit better access. And here we are. This is the access from the solar panels into the solar box. I have the batteries running series, as you can see. You know, I got this battery connected to this battery. So instead of 12 volts, I believe I'm running 24 volts now. So, from the batteries, I got the batteries. Let me see if y'all can see this a little better. Okay, here we go. So, here we go. So, let me say that all over again. So, we got the solar panel cord connecting, giving us our power, like how a house would give us our power. So, we counseled the people out that had the houses and just let the sun be the landlord. So, boom. The sun being the landlord comes into this box. The batteries charge in to uh, these two portals, which charges the batteries. These is my, I use these as uh, AC outputs, no, DC outputs. Because I know they say DC output right here. But yes, I have these cords connected into, where are these connected? A um, power inverter. A power inverter and you know why I got this power inverter you know why I got it to charge another power inverter and that power inverter turns on the AC you can probably hear it running right now so let's do this all over again quick and easy solar oh we have American bullies in here how are you guys doing what's up to YouTube all right, enough of y'all. This is life on the road with eight bullets, y'all. Stop it. But anyways, you hear the fan blowing. Nice, cool air. So we got our AC unit connected to this Ego. This Ego Nexus power station that distributes out 3,000 watts. Yeah. So let me see on my fan. I have two hours and 48 minutes remaining. When it get a little bit cooler, I mean another two hours, it'll probably cool down. That's when I would charge my electric, my electric Ego Nexus power station on my other power inverter, which is connected to my batteries, which is connected to a controller box, which is connected. Hey, Zoe. Like I said, connected to the power box, which is connected. Hold on. You see the solar panel going through the doghouse to the solar. So did y'all get that? Because I don't know if y'all got that, but I got that. And it's that easy. I almost wanted to cuss, but you know, I'm trying to stay professional. So I'll do it one more time for you. Solar panel through the RV, through the doghouse which connects into the solar panel control box. What else powers this control box? The batteries. I have both of these batteries running series. So both of these batteries are together. So if this one dies, it's gonna start pulling from this. Boom, power distributed into the controller box so we can see everything. We can see everything. And 
the another power inverter con connecting to the control box because I'm plugging that guy in there to charge that. I had like a little socket that I just, you know, had plugged into the wires, but I wanted something kind of more proficient, stable, you know, something that would keep it cool. And this is what I went. This is what I went with, y'all. Check me out. Quick, easy solar panel to keep the dogs cool. Yes. <laughs>